In this video, we're going to take a look at the temperature dependence of enthalpy of formation. So the standard enthalpy of formation is the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance is formed from its elements in their standard states under standard conditions. So here we have the example of H2O being formed from hydrogen and oxygen in their standard states. So that is a, a chemical reaction that constitutes the standard enthalpy of formation if, if we undergo that process. Here's an example that doesn't fulfill the criteria because we've got carbon monoxide as one of the reactants. So that is not uh, carbon and oxygen in its elemental form, but rather as a compound. So that reaction would not count. Also to note, the standard enthalpy of formation to form an element in its standard state is zero. So for example, if we form hydrogen gas from hydrogen gas, that's a bit of a misnomer, but it's just illustrating the point, there's no enthalpy change in that process. So hydrogen gas is already an element in its standard state. Okay, just a note on standard conditions and states. IUPAC recommends using a standard pressure equal to one bar. Temperature is not strictly part of standard conditions, but it's common for tables to report values at a reference temperature of 298.15 Kelvin. And the standard state or reference state is the state in which the elements are, are stable at the standard pressure and the chosen temperature. For example, graphite is used for carbon. Okay, so here's the symbol for the enthalpy change of formation. So the delta H is representing enthalpy change. The superscript circle is representing standard conditions. Now, sometimes this is actually replaced with a superscript plimsoll uh, instead of the superscript circle. T is for temperature at which this value is applicable and the subscript F is to note, to note that this is for formation. Okay, so here's some example data at 298.15 Kelvin. And we can see different chemical species, the state, um, and the, the value of the standard enthalpy of formation. Now, if we just draw your attention to bromine for a moment, that's a liquid under standard conditions. But in the table, we also have bromine gas. So we need to add some enthalpy to that. We need to uh, actually heat this up and cause it to evaporate. So this is uh, an endothermic process. So we have, even though this is an element, it's no longer in its standard state. So the delta H of formation actually is non-zero here. Also for water, its standard state at this temperature and under the standard pressure is the liquid, but there's a value for in the gas phase as well. And again, it needs to undergo vaporization. So the value is slightly different owing to that fact and to, to, make, to take into account that fact. Okay, so in terms of temperature dependence, we have this equation, uh, delta HF of T2. So that's the, the value at a higher temperature or a lower temperature equals delta H subscript FT1. So that's the value T1 is the temperature that where we know the value uh, and then we can work out the, the change with this integral integrating between t1 and t2 with the heat capacity of the substance integrating with respect to temperature okay so the heat capacity is often put in the form uh, cp divided by r uh, equals a plus bt plus ct squared plus d t to the power of minus two. So if we just change the equation slightly that gives us the temperature dependence and take into account the fact that we've got Cp divided by R, we can also put a value of R outside of that integral. They will then cancel down to give us the original formula. But in this form, we can then combine that with the equation for the heat capacity, complete the integration. So there's the first step, and there's the second step where we put everything in. So this equation now gives us the temperature dependence for
for the enthalpy of formation. We just need to know the coefficients A, B, C and D for the particular substance that we're interested in. And we also need to know the delta H of formation at temperature one. OK, so that's been a video about the temperature dependence of the enthalpy of formation. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.